What is up there, guys? Figured I'd do something a little different today. We're gonna have a, uh, well, I guess I can't really call it an unboxing because I've already opened the box, but I figured I'd show you what I just picked up. Got this off of uh, my favorite online bicycle gear seller website, Wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E. They're a UK-based company. And I wanted to pick up a couple of items that um, now that I've got my new road bike, my Giant Defy Advance 2, I wanted to have a couple of pieces to kit it out a little bit better. And an issue that I had, I'll show you this. This is a, uh, a uh, what do you call these, a saddlebag. This is a saddlebag that I normally run on my mountain bike. Um, and on my mountain bike, it worked out really well, but on my road bike, I think because the geometry is a little bit different, the way that I ride, um, this buckle, this clip here, um, the strap that goes around the uh, seat tube, it was, or seat post, it was actually cutting into my thigh and it didn't feel very good. Um, so I got another bag off of Wiggle and I actually thought this bag would be a lot smaller. So I'm not, I'm not super confident on how much better this will be than that was. In fact, it might even be worse right now because as I look at this, um, this is the medium. Here, let me read you the description. This is the DHB medium saddle bag in medium gray color. It was $14.61 and I got a 74 cent discount because I'm a gold member from Wiggle and so it cost me thirteen dollars and eighty seven cents for this um for this seat saddle bag um here let me let me pull this off real fast i'm not sure how well this will show up on uh on the uh the camera as i've never actually done this this angle before so so bear with me this will be new territory for all of us. Uh, it's on there good though, all right? That's how you want it. You don't want this thing popping off while you're riding down the road. Try and remember, remember to edit some of this out. Anyway, so as you can see here, it's got dual straps to go on to the, uh, the the seat posts um, and also I guess if you cinch that up that tightens up the bag um, it's large I mean to me this is a big bag I, I honestly thought this was gonna be half the size that it is as a medium bag um, I've got right now in here I've got two tubes I've got two tubes my tire levers um, oh, I forgot that I bought this too. Uh, it's a multi-tool. So I got this also off a of wiggle in this package order. Uh, multi-tool. This is item, uh, Lifeline, uh, essential 10 in one folding multi-tool black color. It was only $2 and 62 cents. This thing was two bucks and 62 cents. That's what I love about Wiggle, man. They have like this DHB and Lifeline in-house uh, product line that it's good quality stuff, man. And it's not expensive. Um, so yeah, two bucks, two and a half bucks for this. Uh, it's got a six mil, five mil. Um, what other sizes are on here? Uh, it doesn't say, but six, five, my guess would be four, three, and two. Um, it also has one um, bit in here that's probably, I would guess, an eight mil. Uh, I'm gonna set this set this down. Let's let's use all of our fingers. We have two hands for a reason, right? Two hands and multiple fingers. So this is a socket driver of some kind, um, which. Hey, look at that, it goes right on there. So I'm not sure exactly what size socket or what size um, this is expanding to. My guess would be a 10 mil. If this is a six mil, this is probably a 10 mil. Um, but yeah, so 
common sizes on on your road bike or on other bikes is going to be your six and your five. Um, and obviously, there's got to be a reason that they put the uh, the larger one on there. There wasn't a whole lot of product description, obviously, on the invoice. I liked it because it was small and it was cheap, two and a half bucks. Uh, the one that I had before this was just a cheap one that I got at uh, Walmart. It was a Huffy brand. Thing was gigantic, uh, bulky, heavy. This is actually not too heavy, and you know it's not light, but it's not heavy. Um, but back to the back to the saddlebag. So there's tons of room in here. I mean, I could easily get one more tube. Um, right now I've got the multi-tool in this little kind of area there. I've got a patch kit. Keep that also in that mesh bag area right there. That just hangs on the door. Uh, tire levers and the two tubes. Can you guys think of anything else I could stick in there? What else might uh, might I want to? Oh, I know what I'm gonna put in there. I've got a, uh, it's a, a converter that converts the Presta valve to a Schrader valve. And I like to have that converter with me just in case I ever have an issue with my pump and I'm near a gas station or some other person with a road pump might have a Schrader valve pump. And so that way it lets me go between the two. Um, so I like to carry that with me. I normally have it just in my backpack but I think because I've got the extra space in this, I'm gonna actually stick it into this. Uh, the build quality on this actually looks pretty good. It's made of a what looks like a pretty good heavy duty mesh. Um, these are YKK zippers. So for all you zipper fiends out there, YKK makes an awesome zipper. So it's a good durable zipper that this is made out of. Uh, it does have a, uh, a spot here if you needed to expand the bag even more. Um, you can unzip that and that let you expand it out another two inches it looks like so yeah i mean this thing gets really really big um that's what she said uh <laughs> the uh the build quality is nice uh this this piece here and this is where i think i'm gonna not like this um here let me grab this for seat before it blows away um and part of this might just be because this bike is so new i haven't quite gotten my saddle set to the right position and maybe my saddle needs to move forward a little bit. And if my saddle moves forward a little bit, um, this area here will be more centered. I, I don't know, but right now my inner thigh actually rubs on the bag. And so if you look, I'm not sure how well that's showing up. The edge of the bag hangs just below there. So my, my leg will rub on this and it's actually gonna rub more, I think on this one than it did on the other saddlebag because the other saddlebag actually sat back further and it was more narrow um, so this might actually be not good um, but we'll have to see i'm gonna have to throw it on there and and we'll see what we get so that's the dhb medium saddlebag in my opinion this is big i would not call this a medium i'd call this a large which means that their large saddlebag is probably ginormous and their small saddlebag, if it's half this size, I think that would be perfect. You know, being able to carry one tube, your tire levers, multi-tool, something like that, that's probably more than enough. It's so windy here in Spanish Fork. Um, but yeah, it, it comes, came in this nice, nice little bag. It says it's a DHB medium saddlebag, spacious storage for ride essentials, expansion zipper to increase capacity when extra storage is required. It's got Velcro loop fasteners, easily mounts and is, uh, oh, easily mounts to any railed saddle. Uh, light attachment loop capacity is up to one liter and the weight is 120 grams. 120 grams is four ounces. So not too heavy, quarter of a pound. Um, or maybe that's a lot of weight for somebody out there. I don't know. Anyway, so next thing that I got, I got a lifeline tube. Um, yeah, not anything super spectacular. Uh, my local bike shop, the tubes are eight and a half bucks for just a basic, regular, you know, 700 CC, 25 mil tube off a of wiggle. These Lifeline tubes, which have pretty good ratings, um, you know, over a thousand ratings, and it is an 18 to 25 mil tube, so it's basically all the same stuff. This was a dollar fifty-two, dollar fifty-two. Now, some people might say, "Well, it's a dollar fifty-two, but you got to pay for shipping coming from England." Oh my gosh, that's going to be so expensive. Not if you spend over fifty bucks. The cool thing with Wiggle is if your order is over fifty dollars, 
the shipping's free. And I always order, order over $50. And the other cool thing with Wiggle is if you spend over $100, I think it's over $100, it might be $150, but I think it's $100. If you spend over $100, you get a discount. Um, and I think it's 5% for the gold level and it's 10% for their platinum or whatever the next tier up is. Uh, but yeah, it's not too hard to get there. I got there and didn't even realize it. I just kept getting all these extra discounts that I didn't know why and then I read a little bit and I saw, oh hey, there's a gold discount and I'm getting it because I've spent this money. So, side bonus. Probably the main reason that I even went on Wiggle was for this thing here. This is a torque wrench. I have a set of torque wrenches, but they are not meant to go down as low as these torque wrenches are meant to go. This goes down into Newton meters. I believe it's Newton meters. Uh, might be nanometers. It's the super lightweight. And the main reason I got this was because having a carbon bike, gotta have the um, torque wrench so that you don't over tighten bolts because if you over tighten or over torque your bolt, you're gonna snap your frame uh, or crack your frame and that voids the warranty and that's a big deal. So I'm trying to keep this bike in as good a condition as possible. And the very first thing that I did when I got this bike is I hand tightened the seat um, clamp and I didn't tighten enough because I was afraid of over tightening and I took it down the driveway and as soon as I hit the brakes, the whole seat post just sank right to the bottom. And it was kind of funny, but at the same time, it made me really understand that I've got to have some way of tightening and loosening bolts on this thing and, and doing it in a way that I'm going to feel confident that the bolts got enough torque on it and that it's not over torque and I'm going to snap my very expensive bike. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is the Lifeline Essentials Torque Wrench. It was $36.55, $34.72 after my discount, got $1.83 off. Um, obviously these prices are all subject to change based on you know stock availability, yada, 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 all that good stuff. But this torque wrench came with several different heads. It's got a three mil, four mil, five, six, eight, ten, a T25 and a T30, as well as a five mil extension. Um, so those are all the tools that come with the wrench as well as the wrench itself. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop this video here and I'm gonna go into just a, a, a review or an unboxing of this piece here. So look for that video to come after this video here. So this was just a brief unboxing of this order that got, oh, almost forgot, squirt. Got some squirt, long lasting dry lube. I got this, never used it before, but um, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Durian Rider, highly suggested it. I've seen other people talk about it, um, some other vegan cyclists. Uh, it's a biodegradable lube, so that's cool. Um, I'm not super worried about the biodegradable lubes, things like that, but I hear it's also a, just a great lube. So I'm gonna start using this, give it a try. So the bottle itself from Wiggle, it is a four ounce or 120 mils. And it cost, squirt 120 mil lube, $8.36. I don't know if that's a good price. Sometimes this kind of stuff is cheaper to get in store if you've got a local access to it. Um, I know this looks like a really small bottle because in During Rider's hands, he has a really big bottle. My guess would be it's like a 16 ounce or maybe even like a 20 ounce bottle. Um, so maybe you can get this stuff cheaper somewhere else, some other site. Um, but yeah, so I, in total, I spent $60.54. Uh, that got me the 10-in-1 multi-tool, the saddle bag, the chain lube, the torque wrench, and the single pressed tire. I got that single tire just to have a, uh, a test out with it. My, my, my other option for the tires is buying it um, in like five or 10 pack increments and saving even more because you get multi-buy discounts on tubes. Um, certain tubes off a of wiggle. Uh, and this is one of them. I think you get an extra five or 10% off if you buy them in uh, bulk packs of 10. But even still, you know, you get 10 of these things, you're gonna spend 15 bucks. That's the price of two getting them from the local bike shop. So, you know, I, I can't see that this isn't the best way to go is just getting your tubes off a uh, off of wiggle or another website like that. Cause I know they're pretty cheap online. 
Anyway guys, um, I know this is one of those like super random rambly videos and I kind of hate them, but at the same time, this is my first unboxing. So yeah, it's my first unboxing. Um, other than that, I will talk to you guys in the next video. I'm gonna be reviewing, or not reviewing, unboxing the Lifeline Essentials Torque Wrench. Anyway guys, take care and I'll see you then, bye.